Hello everyone, me again. Quick disclaimer that if you watched my primary video, you don't need to hear again, so you can skip ahead. In my humble opinion, someone below mastery rank 8 shouldn't put any catalyst or forma on any weapon, so I'll be showing weapons without forma and catalyst up to mastery rank 7, and from 8 we will go all out. If you haven't seen my primary video, then link in the cards. Don't forget that Kuva weapons can be accessed from mastery rank 5 and all of them are pretty good. Also, don't forget that you can build kit guns from mastery rank 0. But I won't be talking about either of those two since all of them are pretty good. Mastery rank 0 Bronco I still remember using this weapon when I was a new player. I liked it a lot and I used it a lot. For a mastery rank 0 weapon, it definitely is worth using. Just be careful when shooting as it only has two shots in the magazine. Lato A standard pistol with a pretty standard performance. Good stuff. MK1 Kunai I honestly did not expect this one to be on the list, but that's the beauty of it. Until you don't actively look for good weapons, some will just be hidden gems. MK1 Kunai has the most DPS in MR0 weapons, not because its base stats are good, but actually because it has two innate V or Madurai polarities. Mastery Rank 1 My favorite Mastery Rank 1 secondary is... Huh. Mastery Rank 2 Ballistica, a very nice weapon indeed, it has two fire modes, one being best and the other being charge. If you just click the fire button, you will use the best mode, but if you hold the fire button, you will start charging your shots. Charged shots only consume one ammo, while the burst mode consumes four ammo. If I could fit a good amount of fire on this weapon, charged shots would be a lot better, but sadly can't do, and we focus on the best mode. Viewers, this is basically your standard automatic pistol. Aside from its solid performance, it has a syndicate augment that will make it lifesteal for you. This is the easiest way to heal yourself in early game. Gamma Core. Now this is a good futuristic weapon. It's a beam weapon and I love my beam weapons. Just look at how awesome it looks. Haiku. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't aware of this weapon's existence until I was checking the weapons for this video. Like no joke, I didn't even have it mastered. Definitely give it a try. Mastery Rank 3. Lex. It's a hard hitting, awesome sounding weapon, even though the design is basically the laziest design you could possibly make. It's a solid weapon though, give it a try. Castanas. Yet another weapon that even the thought of it being good did not cross my mind. It has guaranteed electricity procs and it's AoE. After you throw him, you should press the alt fire button to detonate him. Going for the feed on this specific weapon might not be a bad idea. Mastery Rank 4, a Furious, the dual version of the Furious, but you can't use the lifesteal augment on it anymore because DE. It has more fire rate and double the magazine, but not double the reload time, so it's a better version. Angstrom, it makes one big boom that will send your enemies flying. It's really slow and clunky, but the AoE that it does is pretty solid. You can press fire button to shoot, or you can hold it to empty the clip in one big AoE dump. Bronco Prime. Now here is the first Prime secondary that I'll be recommending. This specific weapon is pretty easy to get as it has no rare parts. So don't be intimidated by the shiny Prime that is in the name. Vasto. If you like how Lex works, you might just love this one. It's a little bit different, it's more about fire rate and reload, but it's the same style nonetheless. Mastery Rank 5 Atomos As the description of this weapon says, this is a Grenier particle cannon, firing a heat-based beam that can chain between multiple enemies. As you might know, heat damage is very useful because of its armor reduction capabilities, and now we have an AoE type heat-based weapon. It would be one of my favorites if it wasn't for the fact that it looks so ugly. Comac I did not think that this weapon would be worth a damn. I was very wrong. This weapon is glorious. Mastery Rank 6 Racta Ballistica It's basically a better ballistica, but you also get the blight effect, which every now and then will deal 1000 viral damage with guaranteed proc in 25 meter radius, which is quite a nice thing to have. Mastery Rank 7 
Cyanoid Gamma Core. If you remember the start of the video, I said that I don't suggest putting Forma and Catalyst on any weapon that you get before Master Rank 8, but I am willing to make an exception for this weapon. I will show you the full build at Master Rank 8. For now, this is what you get. Also, don't worry, the mods I showed will fit without Forma and Catalyst since it has two innate polarities. Mirrorlock. A status based pistol with glorious animation. It's similar to Lex and Vasto, so if you like semi automatic pistols, this is right up your alley. Hystrix. All I need to say is. It has guaranteed procs on each mode. Heat and electric mode have 10% more base damage compared to the other two. And given how good heat procs are, yeah, just use the heat mode. Mastery rank 8. Cyanoid Gamma Core. As promised, I will show you how good Cyanoid Gamma Core performed with a full belt. It's glorious against Grenier. Against Corpus, it's just cool. Akiris, AoE homing rocket launcher. Even though they are gloriously good against trash mobs, they kinda suck at killing any sort of heavy unit. If you sprint while reloading them, you will reload faster. Pandero, yet another semi automatic pistol, or is it? This pistol has an all fire that will empty the clip in a quick burst. You will just one shot trash mobs and burst kill the heavies in about two magazines. Velox, an automatic pistol with solid stats. If you empty the magazine, you will reload faster. Just look at the awesome reload animation. Mastery Rank 9 Mara Detron A solid pocket shotgun. It puts out good damage numbers, but it looks very ugly. So you might want to use something like Zonde Pistol Skin. Also, if you were wondering, yes, this is the only Mara variant in the game. So it gets extra unique points for that. Quads. This is my most used secondary weapon. It's a combination of automatic with high status chance and semi-automatic with high critical chance. It also has an innate electricity on top of the physical type. Shooting from the hip will be automatic and if you shoot while aimed, you will do semi-automatic. If you aim after you started firing from the hip, you can use the automatic mode while aiming. Also, whenever you reload from empty, you will get a guaranteed electricity proc in an 8 meter radius. Twin Gracatas will turn enemies into shreds at 20 rounds per second. It has high critical chance and good status chance. If you like having a lot of bullets and you want to get rid of them quickly, this is the weapon for you. But I hope you brought ammo mutation. Tysis. Bet you didn't see this one coming. One of the best when it comes to semi-automatic pistols. It has massive status chance and innate corrosive damage, making it a monster of a weapon. Mastery Rank 10 Arca Cisco A gimmick weapon in all the good ways. Every shot you land camping multi-shot will give you an additive 4% status and crit chance up to 20%. With the buff fully built, this is a monster of a weapon. It's glorious. It also has a scope. Nell. What is that? You want to have a Mesa Peacemaker but you don't want to play Mesa? Look no further! Nell is an automatic weapon with infinite ammo and insane fire rate as long as you can get headshot. Look over here. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but if you have an arcane velocity and an arcane precision, you can do some crazy damage. Just look at this! Athodai, D.E.B. like, hey guys, do you remember that one weapon that we introduced with Harrow? Yeah, the Nell. 
how about we release a similar weapon with more DPS but make its buff non-refreshable and make it on headshot kill instead of just on headshot. I don't think that would be a good idea. Okay, how about we give it an alt fire too? Actually, I think that could work. So how good is the alt fire gonna be? It's gonna do some insane damage with a fire rate of 12. Then how are you gonna balance this? Hmm, I don't know. How about we just give it 48 total ammo? But, but that would make the alt fire just pointless. Also, the unkill effect will lock the alt fire. Tell me why we're doing this again? We wanted a weapon for Tenokan? Oh, that makes sense. Sure, let's do it. That probably gave you the gist of it, but to be blunt about it, alt fire is the best thing you could ask for, but you can't use it because of unusable levels of ammo issues. You need to get headshot kills for the weapon to be worth using, and at the end of the day, you're better off just using the Nell. Spectra Vandal Did you like Cyanide Gamma Core? This is basically that if we trade the good looks for more damage. Staticor. I honestly did not know how I was not exposed to the sheer awesomeness of this weapon earlier in Warframe. It's a 9.6 meter AoE weapon that can not just take care of trash mobs but also take care of heavy units much faster than you would expect. Twin Comac. I suggest this weapon to everyone that has too many Forma. If you don't spend plat for the exit slot, it will cost you a total of 10 Forma to fully build the weapon. It eats ammo like no tomorrow too, but it's a really strong weapon and I recommend it. Mastery Rank 11, Dual Tox Assist. It has a similar gimmick to the Nil, but it's not automatic. It doesn't beat the Nil in any way, it's just really underrated. Prisma to end gremlins. With this weapon, be ready to pin your enemies to walls or bleed them to death. High critical and stylish chance, fully automatic with a speedy reload. Mastery rank 12, Akajagara Prime. I honestly don't know how this weapon is not one of the most used weapons in the game. High critical chance, massive saddle chance, high base, high fire rate, and a quick reload. The only thing that I could say is bad about it would be the fact that it's semi. But with the damage it puts out, that hardly matters. Because you're going to kill your enemies so fast. And using the weapon just has a good feel to it. Do you get what I'm saying? It hits hard. Axomadi Prime. If you love to get rid of your ammo in no time at all, this weapon is right up your alley. I didn't put lethal torrent on the build because it would make me run into ammo issues but if you're planning to use ammo mutation then sure go ahead. Mastery rank 13 Piranha Prime Another pocket shotgun with amazing performance but what makes it really shine is its gimmick. If you kill 3 enemies in 2 seconds you will spawn a second Piranha Prime which will double the magazine size and you will get 40% more fire rate. As long as you keep getting killed, you can keep the buff active, which turns the weapon into an absolute monster. Mastery Rank 14 Ballistica Prime Another weapon that I don't know why no one uses. It's a silent weapon that deals ridiculous amounts of damage. You can put lots of status effects on your target with the burst mode and finish the target off with a fully charged shot. And as a bonus? If you kill an enemy with a fully charged shot, it will turn into a ghost that will fight for you for 7 seconds. Euphona Prime, it has two fire modes, one is just a normal slug mode and the second one is a shotgun mode. If you just use the slug mode, you won't do much of any damage, unless it's a trash mob. But if you just use the shotgun mode, you will also not do any sort of damage even if it's a trash mob. It's the combination of both of them that will give you the best results. Shotgun mode has status chance, slug mode has critical chance. Sycharis Prime, to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't even know this weapon existed before making this video. It's a best semi-automatic weapon with good overall stats, but what I really like about it is how no one uses it. I literally have not seen a single soul use this weapon, and for such a weapon, it surely performs good. What is your favorite secondary weapon in Warframe? Tell me in the comments below. If you want me to make any specific kind of video, don't be shy to ask. If I showed at least one weapon that you were not expecting, 
and you will like to use, then give the video a like. And if a weapon blew your mind, then make sure to subscribe. Bro, I think people like your videos so much, they all subscribe twice. No, no, I don't deserve being double subscribed to. Once is more than enough. That's all I had to say. See you in another video and bye-bye. I think he's an actual idiot because I was laughing at the fact that he has so few subscribers and he thought I'm complimenting him. What an idiot. <laughs>